Good morning, friends. This is Tanya, and welcome back to She's At It Again. And I decided to sit in the floor because the sun's shining here, but it may not have been such a good idea. So today I want to share with you a quick video. This is a recipe for tartar sauce, only because we're having uh, fish sandwiches tonight for supper. I've got some buns left over from making burgers. I had more buns than I had burgers, so we got to find out something to put on those buns. Okay, girls, you've been in here enough. So uh, join us as we use a few ingredients to make a superbly better product than what you can buy in the store. This is gonna be really good. So won't take long, but hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's get started on our tartar sauce. I didn't plan on doing a recipe today. I wasn't gonna do a video at all today. I was just gonna work on my seedlings for the garden and I even started laundry and then I decided to make tartar sauce and again, I feel guilty if I don't, well not really guilty, but I just feel compelled to video something if I make it and I haven't made a video on it before because these are things that people want to know how to make, I guess. So anyway, if there's something that somebody out there that's watching actually wants to know how to make, just text, I mean not text me, but um, write in on the comments of something you can think of that you'd like to see actually somebody make or um, if you're friends with me on Facebook by all means reach out to me that way and and ask me that I've had I've had friends ask me about a, a few things that we're planning on doing later on so that's always nice to know that somebody's actually interested in something we already plan to do all right we're gonna start out with our Homemade mayonnaise, if you're not familiar with how to make homemade mayonnaise or even remotely think why in the world would you make it when you can buy it at a store, refer back to our video on homemade mayonnaise. You'll want the information. Uh, I want you to have the information anyway, but this is a, again, a far superior product than what you could buy in the store. We're going to use half a cup of mayonnaise. This mayonnaise has no sugar in it. It's made with a good healthy oil. It's sweetened with just a little bit of honey, so it's not super sweet, like, you know, uh, salad dressing or anything like that. So half a cup of mayonnaise and a fourth cup of dill pickles. I've already chopped up a few of them that I had from a different jar, but just in case somebody out there likes watching somebody chop dill pickles, all means I don't want to deprive you of that, so we're gonna chop some dill pickles. I like this brand, but I realize not everybody has Kroger stores. All my friends in Oklahoma who are viewers uh, and subscribers, you don't have Kroger's there. I'm so sorry. But when we moved back to Arkansas about 20 years ago, that's one of the things I was excited about was that I got to shop at a Kroger store. And I, I'm not sure what it is. I can't really put my finger on it, but Kroger is just, it's just a fun store. But their brand of, let me put the lid on that so I won't spill the juice out of it. Let me see if I can get this in the shot. This is their brand of kosher dill pickles and man it has such a good flavor. It's hard to buy anything else. Now there's another brand out there called Woodstock and I've, I've tried some of the other better brands of pickles but they're not my favorite. They're not bad by any means but they're just not my favorites like the Woodstock and these from uh, Kroger, those are really good. So we're gonna use a fourth a cup of chopped dill pickles. Chop them as fine as you want. Get out the grater if you want to and grate them if you want them super fine, but we don't necessarily mind our tartar sauce being chunky. So I just chop mine into tiny pieces. We also need a teaspoon and a half of dill weed. This is not dill seed, this is dill weed. I'm hoping that's getting a picture of that in there. I didn't look at the back side of the camera. So a teaspoon and a half of dill weed, which sounds like a lot, but a lot of the flavor really does come from the dill weed. To that, we're going to use or add a half teaspoon of lemon juice. And I have this Santa Cruz lemon juice, which has to be refrigerated, but really and truly that's the only downside to it. It's a fabulous product. I've used it for several years now and it's easy to find in the stores. So about a half teaspoon of that, not much. 
We're also going to use half teaspoon of honey, so I'm going to heat my spoon up with some warm water so it'll release the honey better. It would have probably helped had I had my water already running and warmed up before I actually turned the camera on, but I didn't. So let's warm it up just a little bit. It's getting warm. So what we're having tonight is fish sandwiches. I have some wild caught Atlantic cod that came from Kroger uh, thawing right now just a bit. And then I'll put it in the, in the fridge and keep it in there till we're ready to cook it tonight. Okay, just a half teaspoon of this honey. It doesn't take a lot. And it's not releasing that great from my spoon, but that's okay. I'll just stir it in. And then we also add to this a tablespoon of finely chopped onion. And again, chop it as finely as you want, but we don't mind it being chunky in ours much. I should have had my little box onion chopper over here, but I didn't grab it again. I wasn't planning on doing a video. Okay, I think I have a little bit more than a tablespoon there, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to grab the black pepper. And it says just a pinch of black pepper, so I'm going to put just a little bit in my hand, like that, and put that in. And believe it or not, that's all the ingredients right there. Give that a little stir. And I'll try to get a good view of this in the camera so you can just take a look at it. I am not a fan of tartar sauce in any way, shape, or form. Every time we have fish, my husband thinks he needs it on there. I guess his family ate tartar sauce with fish when he was a kid, but he's used to that sweet stuff in the jar or whatever it comes in, actually. I don't even know. But once I started making this, because I just refused to buy the stuff in the store, just because of the quality of the ingredients, it wasn't something that we, I felt like we needed to be eating just because of the inferior quality of it. But when I started making this, I actually started liking tartar sauce. So now I don't necessarily need it on fish. I like lemon and stuff like that on my fish, but with fish sandwiches, oh, this is the goods. This just makes it all worth it. It's so lovely. Okay, let's see if I can get a shot of this in here so you can see it. I kind of, sorry, there's putting a shadow on it from the lights, but this is really good. Let me see if I can turn the camera down. Actually, I'll just pick the camera up and video it. There you go. Now you can see it. So that's what we have here. Nice, chunky tartar sauce. It is beautiful. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. We look forward to sharing something with you next time.